Today, I will be making a Kerbal Cannon in Kerbal Space Program 2. And not just any cannon, I have a specific goal that I want to accomplish in today's video. See that radio dish over there? That's going to be the target of this video. What we are going to do is make a Kerbal Cannon that can shoot a Kerbal all the way from one of these launch pads into that radio dish. I don't know, maybe we can even make it in every single time. Who knows? Grab some snacks, full screen that video, and enjoy. Okay, so first we have to even confirm that we can launch a Kerbal in the first place. For this, I came up with two plans. Plan A is that we use a rocket to propel the Kerbal all the way to its destination, and plan B is that we make some sort of trebuchet catapult mashup that can do basically the same thing. Now that I've laid out the experiment, let me show you the results for plan A. The initial setup for plan A consisted of an upside down engine with the platform for the Kerbal to get on top of it. When the engine activates, ideally the Kerbal should fly upwards. But with all the bugs that KSP2 currently has, that didn't quite work. However, with a few modifications such as moving the Kerbal away from the engine slightly, I was able to get the engine to finally push the Kerbal. Which is exactly what I wanted because I didn't really want to go to plan B. Now that we know it's possible to push a Kerbal with an engine, we have to answer answer two different questions. One, what is the best engine to use? And two, can we make it reliable? To answer question one, I made this fixture to put on different engines. That way I can rapidly test each different engine and figure out which one launches the Kerbal the highest. Okay, Mark Rober, that's enough talking. But fortunately for you guys, this is the best part of the video. I recorded all the results of the engines launching the Kerbals, and here they are side by side to each other. Of all the tests here, you could probably tell which one won. The REM3 engine was able to shoot the Kerbal up 208 meters. However, I did leave out one of the engines of this experiment, and that is the KS100 engine. The reason why I did that is because I found a way to launch a Kerbal 3 kilometers using that engine. The issue was that it was completely unreliable, which brings us to our next question if we can make it reliable. To be as thorough as possible to find a way to launch the Kerbal consistently and accurately, I started with my initial setup. However, as shown in the start of the video, the Kerbal just teleported to the side of the engine and didn't get pushed by it. The next design, I tried to drop the Kerbal into the plume of the engine, which ended up being unreliable because every time you walk the Kerbal over, the Kerbal ends up in a slightly different position every single time, which makes the cannon inaccurate. And then, I had an idea. Why don't we just have the Kerbal stand up from the chair in the middle of the engine exhaust while the engine is running? This way, the Kerbal will stand up in the exact same spot every single time, and hopefully it will be more accurate. Which was the case, however, somehow didn't have enough power to get Get the Kerbal all the way to the radar dish. And then I finally got it. And honestly, I have no idea why or how this works. So for proof, here's con 10 consecutive shots of it making it into the radar dish. And while this is going on, I hope you guys truly enjoyed this video because it's pretty hard to make KSP2 content because of all the bugs and glitches going around. And I really hope you guys enjoyed it. So thank you guys so much for watching till the end. If you've made it this far, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you like the video, share it with your friends, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.